Hey everybody, it's Pam with Silver and Sparkles, and I am making this um, little golden book junk journal using a vintage Alice in Wonderland uh, book. This one is a 1951 edition, and it is gorgeous. Um, it's part of the little book haul I was able to find um, when I was on vacation and then here around town. Um, and I've already put it together and I was starting to decorate it and I realized, why don't I just turn my camera on and show you guys my ideas and what I'm working on. So this is more of a just um, hang out with me for a few minutes while I'm crafting. Um, but the other thing that I'm really excited about, which has kind of motivated me to start making these Alice in Wonderland books, because I've got, I don't know, I think three like this one, and then I also have, in fact, I've already worked on the cover for it. Not sure where I put it, but it's somewhere. Um, the Alice in Wonderland book that's super old, but doesn't have, oh, is this it? Doesn't have, um, nope, that's not it. Okay, we aren't gonna s spend time looking for it. Um, it's not a little golden book, and it doesn't even have, a date on it. it, but it's obviously very, very old. Um, and I'm making it in the same style of a journal. Anyway, I just thought these are going to be great Christmas gifts. Um, so if you're interested and you want one, you will have to just message me directly. You heard it here first. Um, those, these won't be posted in my Etsy shop. We'll have to um, do it through Venmo or PayPal. <coughs> oh, and I just saw the one I was trying to tell you guys about. Um, I can take the clips off because I glued this one together yesterday. Um, so fun, so fun. Look at this. Isn't it going to be beautiful? I love the paper that I chose for the spine. And it looks a little different, you know, because it is in a little golden book. And I did have to wrap. Um, this is like one of those, I think they used to, um, yeah, they would... Um, mark it. It has a washable cover. And um, so when I took it apart, it, it went okay. But again, it's a little bit of a fragile old book. And I used this kind of plastic, it's not plasticky. It's like it's just been covered with something. You can see it, the paper underneath. And I wrapped it so we wouldn't have weird ragged edges. This one, um, there was no, there wasn't any of the yellow cover left for that edge. But anyway, I'm making it in kind of the same style. You can see how old the papers are. I'm going to have to figure out um, if I need to do anything else to them. And again, because of what I had to do with the cover, it looks like the pages may be sticking out some too. So anyway, this one is a work in progress. Um, but I love it. But I have these dolls. This is what I was trying to get to. Um, these are the Maggie Retro um, movable paper dolls that um, I love. And the ones I've been showing you, I did a cat and a dog. And then a bunch of weird veggies, which I thought were kind of fun um, for the fall kind of harvest kind of idea. But they're a little creepy, but cute. But they put out this Alice in Wonderland collection, and I am in love. I love Alice. So there's Alice, and then there's the White Rabbit. So fun, right? They're a little tall for this size journal, but I'm still going to use them, and I think they're going to work because I don't mind having them kind of stick out and give you an idea that something fun is inside. Here's the Red Queen and the Mad Hatter. Fabulous, right? Look at that. Even the little feet move. Um, and then my favorite, the Cheshire Cat. So um, there's, and there's others. I know um, I, I didn't get them all. I just have these five right now. Um, but I love them and I'm excited to work with them. Um, if you're interested, um, I do have an affiliate link for you um, in the description of the video. It's also my link tree. Go check out all the different dolls they have so cute even if you're not going to make a purchase if you don't mind going and giving them a look that helps me a lot so thank you guys so anyway I'm going to show you how I'm going to try to incorporate these I've already cut them out put them together oh and that's what's cool too you can order that order them and they'll send them to you like already printed and cut out and then you just assemble which is fun but if you have a printer and you don't mind some fussy cutting you can get the pdf files and then you can um play with uh, you know printing them out more than once but you could also um 
probably print them at different percentages. The only thing I will say is some of the little pieces, you know, are pretty tiny and I use some pretty fine brads to hold these together. And I'm afraid like if I did Alice at 50%, that would be super tiny to cut out. So I'm, I'm not quite sure about that. I got to give that some thought, but I'll let you know. I'll let you know. Please let me know if you guys also like the dolls. I love them. So, um, this journal is put together like I do. Um, I've done videos on how to do this type of little golden book journal. I did take the time to put the, the story pages in order. Now you have to flip through to get to the different pages of the story, but um, they are in order. So that's kind of fun. Um, so you can read it if you want to. I'll be going through and adding pockets and some pieces of ephemera and tuck spots and things like that. Um, and we're going to do a little bit of that today because what I was playing with was making um, a front pocket that Alice could hang out in. Um, and we can just kind of bend her legs a little bit. And then I realized because of these brads, you know, it's not super thick, but there's a little more bulk to her. So I am making a pocket um, that'll have a little bit more room. So I took a strip of paper and this one is six and a quarter inches. And the, the little gussets I made, they're not the same. This one's obviously smaller. I've already inked it. This one's a little bit wider. But the whole point is, is that they're going to fold over. And the way I'm going to attach this pocket is I'm going to glue these down in the bottom. And then um, I'm going to have to fill my glue bottle up soon. And it'll have be a little bit roomier because of these. I could have done one on the bottom as well. But I'm going to try this and see. And I wanted, I like um, leaving when possible. You can see the aging mark here too. But, um, you know, this little golden book belongs to. And sometimes they're filled out, which is cute too. Um, I obviously ended up with um, a child's collection, someone named Dale. Um, some of the other ones that I've done. And it would say, this little belongs to Dale. <laughs> that was cute. But I, I, if I can help it, I try not to cover that up. All right, we're going to let this pocket um, dry for a minute, and then we're going to see how Alice looks in there. And then some other ideas I had, some of the pages, aren't these pretty? Um, these papers are from um, Making Creating the Digital Collage Club. They have an Alice kit, um, if you're interested in that. And I used some different ones um, throughout the journal. Um, this is from that kit. Ooh. The images are so fun. So I kind of like this one is that it's mix and match kind of the different Alice's um, between the 1951 Disney Alice and then this kind of more modern Alice. Super fun. Okay, I really want my kitty cat to have a great spot. So I think I'm going to put him on this back cover. Or I don't know. I'm going to figure out how I want to do that. I was thinking of, again, if I did a large pocket but I was also thinking about velcroing him to the pocket um, to decorate the pocket itself so let's see um, I'm gonna cut this to two and a quarter inches um, and I don't think that cut straight so I wasn't holding it well let's just trim that off and get it straight okay so I'm gonna do a similar style pocket um, that we just talked about and put the little hinge on here. And um, if you guys also like Alice in Wonderland, take a sec and drop me a comment and tell me what your fa favorite character is. Um, and I, I like, I just love Alice in Wonderland. So of course I would probably say Alice just cause she's fun. Um, but I, I do like the Cheshire cat and the, the, um, cat makes me think of my aunt, um, who my daughter's named after Sarah. Um, she loves cats and she has collected like little figurines of cats for many years. Um, 
and she has several of the Cheshire Cat um, that are just amazing. Um, she's very well read. She was a teacher. <laughs> And she's my aunt in Alabama that's still living that I've mentioned before. Okay. I want to let that dry, but I'm trying to see, will he fit in there? <laughs> he will. Um, but I may also attach him with a Velcro and then like um, a tag or something could go in there later, right? Let's do that. I think that's going to be funny. Now, I could also stick him... No, I think I'm going to decorate her pocket differently. All right, so I'm going to fold her little legs up just a little to make sure they don't get messed up in the pocket. Cute. All right. Now, I may, just to make sure she doesn't accidentally get bent up um, in a way that I don't want her to. Where did I put my Velcro dots? There they are. We may just attach her with a Velcro dot to keep her safe, but it won't hurt anything at all. So I am going to put this right here. I think that'll be a good place to um, secure her. And these are those really skinny Velcro dots that I use a lot. Um, and if you um, want to see any of the supplies that I use, you can go to my Amazon storefront link um, and check it out. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, and I'll definitely decorate that pocket later, probably. Definitely, probably. Ah, what is that? Okay, now, this is the idea that I had for the Cheshire Cat. I kind of like the idea. I want his head to turn, and it doesn't. Um, but he's still cute. We're going to attach him... I think right there. And he's going to decorate this pocket. Love it. Okay. Yep. How cute is that? I wonder if he needs two. He's a little chunky fella. Let's put another one right here. So he, the, the whole point of using the Velcro dots is um, I made some dolls, some of the other dolls, and I went ahead and attached them almost like to these giant tags, which will be cute, that can then tuck down into the journal. Um, but I wasn't, gosh, line that one back up. Um, what I wasn't thinking about was that I could just Velcro dots and then I could just remove them and still play with them, but then they're secure, right? Um, and they fold up in there. So sweet. I'm gonna put this in there just to kind of remind me that I wanna make some kind of coordinating tag. And I'm probably gonna use some of these Alice papers to do that. All right, where do we wanna put the Mad Hatter? I don't know, I think the White Rabbit needs to come next. And... I think I may just put the white rabbit on this flap right here. This is right at the center of that signature. Um, and I'm not going to do a um, pocket on this page. I'm just going to put the doll on here. And we're going to put one on the head and kind of one on the main part of the, part of the body. All right. So whether you're using dolls or, or other things, when you're wanting to attach things temporarily into your journal, I think this is a good strategy. Now, we're going to see that sticking out, but I think that's kind of fun. If it bothers um, me later, one option would be to do this. Well, oh, could un stick it and you could turn it in like that if, if you know you're worried about it getting messed up or you want to do something different with it okay we found the velcro it works all right so then i've got that's in my first signature and i have five signatures and i have two more dolls so i think i'm going to skip the second signature put one right in the middle signature 
and let's see we'll do the Mad Hatter next hmm where do I want to put him let's do a big pocket on this book page right here and we'll do the same thing we'll make a hinge and glue it down all right so I was um, actually this morning I was at my shop for a while the my in-person shop that I have here in the Richmond area um, restocking some inventory and things that I needed to in there and it's so hard for me to believe that I'm already putting out, well, I've had out now for a while some of my fall items, but I'm starting to think about when am I gonna, when am I gonna bring my Christmas items? So again, I've really been working to try to make up um, some Christmas things and some gift items that I think people will like. And it's just amazing to me how quick the years go these days. <sighs> Oops, I didn't put glue at the bottom. Oh, you know what? That would be a cute idea, too. We could do one that's just a pass-through, right? Kind of like a belly band or something. So, ah, I'll have to give that some thought, maybe for um, the Red Queen. We'll see what paper I have left. Okay, there he is, the dude. All right, and I'm kind of letting his legs curl up a little bit too but we'll let his hat stick out as well I think one of the things about the velcro dots is I will have to kind of remember where they are to be able to line it up on the page but I think I think you know everything is figure outable it will be okay oh so fun <laughs> there we go yeah we got a couple of fun all right now she has a crown now I'm going to skip back here to the um back signature she doesn't have feet but look her crown's going to stick out really cute all right so should I let me see what I still have on the problem is with the pass-through, unless I did a pass-through like this, ha! that would be fun, wouldn't it? She could just kind of hang out in there. Hmm, let's try it, why don't we? In this one, I don't think I'm gonna put a hinge on. We're gonna kind of hang her in there and see. So let me get it lined up where I want it and you'll get the idea. Okay, so I'm just gonna add glue I think I need the hinge. I think I do. I think I need to make sure I have plenty of room. All right. So again, I'm just going to fold it over on both sides. And I think you saw I also cut out the little angle. So if you're planning on making some handmade gifts for the holidays for your friends and family, leave me a comment. Let me know what you're planning to make. Um, and if you need some ideas that I might be able to help with, if you've got some suggestions for some tutorials let me know. I am in the still in the planning stage, but about about ready, I think, to record um, <laughs> I think her dress will fit in there, especially doing it with this on here. Um, oh, what was I saying? And we're not going to glue the bottom because I want her to slip through there. Um, so Christmas gifts, holiday gifts, those types of gifts. I think this was about where I wanted it. I should have marked it, but oh well, we're going for it. Um, if you were going to be making handmade gifts or homemade gifts, what what what's on your list? I am about, I think I've decided to sign up for a local craft fair too that's near the end of November. So I'll be making my craft fair items. All right, now what we don't want is I don't want her to slide through and mess up her dress on the bottom, but I do like this a lot. So I'm gonna do one Velcro dot right there for her head. Maybe we'll scooch her over a little. Um, yeah, 
I'm going to be doing my craft fair items. So they're a little bit different than like things I have in my shop. I like to do, um, got some hot chocolate favors that always sell really well. Um, and some different candy favors. If you guys are interested in seeing what I'm making for that, let me know. I'm going to be hitting that hard in October probably. Um, so that's kind of exciting too because I believe it's like the last Saturday in November or something. I'll have to get the date. Oh my goodness. All right, lots left to do on this. We need some bling. We need to decorate. We need to add pockets and tags and ephemera. Um, some lace, some ribbons, you know, all the things to make it fabulous. But there's a start. And um, I hope you guys enjoyed spending a few minutes with me in my craft room today. I hope you have a great one. Don't forget to like, leave me a comment, and subscribe to the channel. See ya.